Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron for the New Order's Germany. Let us continue on from where we last left off. So, we're a few months away from the Civil War. We are currently tied for first place in terms of influence right now. We are, again, I think someone asked me in, the, in one of the uh, previous episodes, like, what route we're going to be doing. And what we're going to be doing, at least right now, is we're going to be going with Borman. Bor Borman is going to be our main man. Secure deals conglomerate. That also, we don't... I don't want to spend legitimacy, basically, is what I'm getting at. We have 15,000 extra rifles. We have four extra units. All of that seems, I would say, pretty good. But, you know, maybe that's just me. And again, at the end of the last episode, we're also uh, currently involved in multiple uh, multiple wars. Uh, protecting the Dominican Republic. We also need to make sure that... Can I, can I help you guys? Give me some local reconnaissance here. Launch the counterinsurgency. We're controlling more territories here. I don't think we can attack you because someone already controls us. At some point, I'm assuming that this is going to escalate. Right now, we're currently still in stage one. Eventually, I don't know when stage two is actually going to begin, but that's probably when everything in Madagascar is going to get a lot worse. It looks like things in Madagascar have gotten a lot worse. Okay. So we're now entering stage two of the conflict. So you are at war. You're at war with the anarchy. You're at war with the uh, rebellion as well. But overall, I, I think you're you're doing pretty okay. I'm I'm happy with how things are going in Madagascar. So you're controlled by enemy forces. Sea supplies. The efficient strength. The war is just beginning. Let's increase our investment. And they get more guns. So you know what? Let us... 80%. We've like 100% down here, right? Let's seize your armories. Restore order. Target rebel leaders. Absolutely target rebel leaders. Transfer aircraft as well. Force the French to commit militarily. Well, what are we at right now? We currently have 34%, which I mean, it seems pretty good. Do I want to force the French? Run localized terror operations. Controls are uh, support by 10%. Force the French. Local, let's go local reconnaissance here. To decrease our factions by 27%. That seems pretty god dang high. Can I send you volunteers? I can send you one troop. I'm going to send you a panzer division. Let's send in Carl Adolf Heidt. He definitely is not saying that right. We're going to send you over here. We can't send any air volunteers though, but we'll send in our, uh, we'll send in one tank. And I think things are looking okay. All things considered, I think we're pretty happy with the rat. We'll get a fuel tank. Sounds good. We're out producing basic jets. I want to improve. Oh, you actually use the old system, huh? How many, how many, how many points do we have? Uh, 54, okay. You know, give me one weapon, one reliability. I'm gonna save that up. Yeah, so yeah, we want Fighter Jet A in here. Looking pretty good. Second uh, Caribbean League, Clear War on the Dominican Republic. But we should have... I mean, we, we gave them as much support as we possibly could. So, I mean, they only got like one um, province here. The Clash Triumvirate has upturned much of Europe's geopolitical positions. The aftershock still ripple. Not crossing the ocean, Dominican Republic under Rafael Trujillo has long acted as a gateway into the Americas for the former uh, European Axis powers. Can I uh, send you more weapons? Buy more technical support? Yes, please. I'm going to spend a lot of my command power here, at least for right now. Maybe maybe that's not what we need to do. Liberals have power in... in um, what do we need to do to restore order? Does not have modifier base of operations, which I'm assuming is... <gasps> they, they took over one of my provinces! Local harassment. Local reconnaissance. for are at 70%. I don't want to force the French to commit quite yet. The Japanese yen, I believe, is just now completely collapsed, which is good for me. Japan being poor is just a net benefit. Protests reach new heights. Student protests have long played the right. 
Intermediate rallies in the Cavs March that have not heard of and have been held in small numbers ever since the NSDAP came to power. Florida protests have been much more frequent and intense after Hitler's announced his successor. In all major cities across the right, German students have held rallies and marches across university campuses, with some migrating into the streets. Citizens have effectively shut down most campuses, and students have taken it upon themselves to block off government and army buildings. Many large gatherings are flat out refusing to disperse, and students at many of the cities refuse to budge. A large crowd over 200 people have been blocked in the SS barracks. It's a miracle that nobody died. We need to do something about the student protesters before uh, the situation sprouts out of our hands. One way or another, we need to take action. Of course, we need to get Borman. We just gotta do whatever Borman would do. Okay, let's deploy the troops and we'll just wait the protesters out. Sounds good to me. Spiked. Perapino is 19 years old and scared of approaching Yakle Plains. He wasn't the only one. The entire rank and file were terrified. Every man had a story to witness the entire formation wiped out with a single napalm bomb. And if he and Shockwaves weren't scary enough, you see the wounds and screams wherever you close your eyes asleep. But they weren't completely helpless. They'd gotten skilled at evading and hiding themselves from the planes, and today they were going to get their revenge. Hauling out Krez's state of the arm German man pads, they personally ordered from Tuji himself to use for, uh, to use them for their intended purpose. The matter of El Jefe's confident smile gave painted courage. Today, the decadent Yukis would bleed. The aim and fired once uh, the jets were gotten range. Several buzzing tones broke the silence of their camouflage canopy, and eventually they all released their missiles. They stood in silence as the missiles darted away, and the Pina missiles uh, turned the Yucape into a flaming fireball. That platoon exploded in joy. Pina picked up by Gonzalez and uh, Nesio and paraded around, shaking hands with all the guys. They'd done it. They downed a plane. Now they could run the Yakis back to Haiti, where they could cower behind those savage blacks. The celebration was interrupted by shouts of alert and curses. The Yaki ply had survived and was parachuting down. Pene was lowered down as he and a platoon unsung their rifles and went to nab the enemy pilot. Our man pads are being used to great effect. Let's freaking go. I'm hoping that, um, I'm, I'm hoping that the Dominican Republic realizes that I should be their real sponsor and not the Spanish. Okay, so we've gotten ourselves our tank here. Let's see if we can like move our way through this. I'm not too sure if like taking things on the physical map affects um affects this screen here. It might. I don't think I need to force the French to fight though. At least not quite yet. So if I take Osoy with this tank, does that affect this screen at all? Pierre Nostra, which is which is I think probably you. Okay, the King of Egypt has died. That is okay. Your base of operations currently is in North Madagascar. And there is a civil war going on in the Philippines. I don't think we care about this too, too much. We got the Free Philippine Republic against the Second Fien a second Philippine Republic against the Communist. What's happening up there? I don't think it involves us. It's more of an American-Japanese war than it is a German-Japanese kind of affair. So we'll let the Americans and the Japanese fight in the Philippines. I got stuff to do over here in uh, Madagascar. Okay, we've improved our... So do we have the... Say, 65 out of 100. These are going to be done very, very soon. Look, reconnaissance. Don't want to force the French to come militarily if I don't have to. Free skate of Madagascar's clear war on the all Russian government. That is fine. I don't know what to do with these handful of troops here. Patrolling the coast. Captain Whitehart pursued it, uh, purses lit as he stood on the deck of his ship. While several ships in his fleet patrolled along the Madagascar coast. His binoculars were out and he peered everywhere for a sign of anything suspicious. Back and forth his gaze swept and nothing. He was not optimistic about the likelihood of catching anyone today. The good news was that there's only a few places one could expect uh, goods or weapons to be smuggled into. But German eyes were not everywhere. The flotilla at his command was simply not large enough to cover the entire coast. Germany had sent him under the assumption that he only needed to cover obvious ports of entry, which he uh, could have immediately pointed out the slight problem with that assumption. For that assigned purpose, he had enough ships to successfully blockade the island, which was his mandate. Germany didn't want anybody reaching Madagascar. 
But that said, if any alternate roofs were found or ports were built, coverage was going to be more difficult. Hence, a regular patrol was uh, uh, <laughs> instituted. I just make sure that there were uh, proactive efforts to find smugglers or others who would interfere. Yeah, I communicated with this back in Germania and his superiors in the Kriegsmarine, but the answer would come back rather stark. Uh, if expected. He was to make uh, do with what he had been given. They were unwilling or unable to supply him with any more ships. It's unfortunate, but Vihard uh, would have to manage. Hopefully the Gators didn't make sure that things didn't get worse on the island, or that Japan and the United States wouldn't get any bright ideas to try to exploit the situation. If they did, well, it'd be his duty to stop them. Well, I believe in you. Somewhat. Are we gonna... Do we, do we have to, like, capitulate the anarchy? I'm not too sure... We got the second uprising. The anarchy technically collapsed at 40%, which I'm not like 100% too sure how that actually works. Okay. We've captured this area. I'm then going to capture this city down here in the anarchy. Okay, we're utilizing Haler, giving us more legitimacy. Get even more legitimacy under political power also sounds nice. So we are currently 15 ahead. If we're 15 ahead, I'm willing to get two more regiments on our side. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually more than okay with this. Just since I don't know what... Because they're spending their influence to get more uh, troops or more supplies or something like that. We don't know exactly what yet, but it is something that we do need to be aware of. For 65%, 32 days to be ready to go. I don't have the radar ready. And for you, I actually just don't have any anti-aircraft... I don't have any anti-air weapons ready to go. Anti-air... We're missing 5,000 of you, huh? That does sound like an issue. For sure. 71% is looking good. Um, what do we need to research now? Let us take... Do you have any better? We don't have any like engineering techs yet, right? Because that's almost like 65. And that's, I mean, 370 days is not actually too, too bad. So you know what? I will take one. Yeah, so let's get our support here. Foreign policy. 70%, 50. I think we're, we might be losing the war a little bit. Target rebel leaders. Organized local harassment. Target rebel leaders, please. 50, 80%. Let's do some local reconnaissance here. We don't actually collect control the node. Because I guess I guess because they actually occupy it on the on the game map. That takes precedence. I'm actually not like hundred percent too sure. Do you get any volunteers from the uh, Japanese? Are you getting volunteers from us? I do want to. I do want to take this city because it might capitulate the anarchy, which I know sounds a little bit weird, but might be how this works. I don't like a hundred percent know. Okay, foreign policy decisions. I literally don't control any of these nodes anymore, which is not great. Force the French command militarily. I might. I would like to try to avoid that if I can. Okay, so we have, we've we've taken over the anarchy. The anarchy no longer exists. How many units do they have? 5 to 18, 7 to 16. I'm going to see if we can maybe clean up the southern area before we go on a... Hey, over the prize of radar. Okay. I can send this then to the... Um, in, in Puerto Rico. Or not Puerto Rico. In Dominican Republic. How are they actually doing on the game map? On the game map, they're looking okay. And that's also pretty important. Where are you going? You're retreating, I think, in this direction. If we can overrun you, that'd be good. And also, not having a front line down here that our uh, AI ally can get, you know, distracted on, I think is a net positive. Okay, that's been taken. We're going to go take this city from you. 
So we really only control Southern Madagascar right now, which I will say is like not incredible. I don't want to force the French to commit though. Like that's kind of the issue. German firm investment, target foreign involvement. I would like to see if I can maybe send more volunteers. Oh, I can send five? Oh my lord, okay. Let's send some panzers and some more infantry. We'll bring them down to Madagascar as well. No wonder I could, okay, yeah, send, send them over, send them over. Yeah, send them to Madagascar, please. And with the war in Madagascar, you know, really boiling over, I think this is going to be a great time for us. And as absolutely, if you enjoyed, thumbs up. Now, enjoy, click thumbs down. You want to see more, subscribe, and goodbye.